Hi everybody, my name is Adriana and today's lesson is our food traditions. So I'm very excited about this lesson because it's a great way to talk about our traditions as individuals, as families, in, in, in cultures, and as a community. So today, we're gonna to be thinking about why we celebrate something, what it means to celebrate, and the food we celebrate with. So when I say to celebrate something, what does that mean to you? If you said that it's sharing something special with other people, you're right. Celebrating something is a way to acknowledge something good that's happened. And it's a way to share those positive emotions with other people and to bring everybody together. So I want you to think of a time that you celebrated something. Think of a time that you celebrated something with your family, your community, your friends, that you shared a meal together and you just celebrated. So take out a piece of paper, take out a pencil, and to the best of your ability, don't worry too much about spelling. Write all of your answers down and in much detail as possible. So thinking about that time that you had that giant celebration, what were the things that you ate? What was on the table? Were there any foods that were important? Are there any foods that are important to your culture? Are there any foods that are important to your culture or as your family and your familial culture? Were there things that you celebrated that was important to your community as a whole? So Now that we have that written down or that you've shared with other people, I want you to get a paper plate if possible. If you don't have paper plates or you don't want to waste a paper plate on this, totally understandable. You can pull out another piece of paper and a pencil and some crayons or markers, whatever you have, and you can draw what you imagined or what you talked about from that meal. So I would suggest having your piece of paper, drawing a circle on it as your plate, and then inside the circle, what would be on your plate from that meal? And once you have everything drawn, then you can color it. And to go the extra mile, label it. Show what it is. So when you show the picture to somebody and maybe they don't recognize it right away, they can look at it and they can say, oh, that's macaroni and cheese, or oh, that's rice and beans, without having to wonder. All right, guys, I wish I could see your pictures. I'm sure they look beautiful. If you have somebody to share with, swap your stories, tell each other of the meals and why they're important to you. Tell them of the celebrations that you had. You guys did an amazing job today. I'm so proud of you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.